Spotify. Yay! So obviously they send a little thank you card. Yes. Ultra cleanse. Oh my god, yes. BCAA. The lean vanilla protein. And my favorite. I literally, because I finished my 500 gram one so quickly, I got a whole kilo of the salted caramel. Alright guys, so I put all my stuff in here. The top part of the shelf isn't done yet, but that's the bottom part. How good does it look? Hey everyone and welcome back to another vlog. As you guys saw in the morning, I had my delivery from Tropica. So, I put them away. Now we're just going to go to the shops. I'm changing my clothing. Obviously, I'm wearing my track pants and my top. Can we get it in? Can we? Can we? Yeah. We're going, Miss Abby. I'm going to pop you guys down. Okay. Oh. Okay. We can do story time, Miss But it's a bit overexposed. That's better. Huh? What do you guys think of this area as a story time video? Sort of. I'm loving this cat. Abby, stop it. You look so good. Look. Fix your ear, you're embarrassing me. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're just gonna go to the shops with her dad and myself, leave Miss Abby at home, and then come back, cook, eat, edit. I've been editing since 6 a.m., 6.30 a.m. It's like, what, 12 now? I'm gonna go downstairs and make an iced coffee, leave this little girl on the tiles because it's way too hot in this room, and it's like a lot more breezy downstairs. Be a good mummy, be a good mummy. Let's go. But I'm gonna take you guys along. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, come on. Okay, so don't mind my hair, please. It's too hot. Like I said, it's about 34 degrees. I'm not sure if I showed you guys the recipe or how I do my bomb ass iced coffee. That's better than Starbucks. And you guys know that Starbucks is bae, but like, yeah, anyway, there's no Starbucks in my area. So the closest one is about 30, 40 minutes away. So I've come up with this concoction of making my own iced coffee. Okay. Nutribullet, essential. Tropica bottle, essential. You need a small cup to put your espresso shot in. Obviously, you've got to turn all the power points on. Okay, so what I do is I fill this up to about the max line, which is right over there, um, with ice. So one tablespoon, right? Because we're doing a massive... And create shot of coffee and while we wait for that to melt i use any type of almond milk today it's so good almond and sweetened milk you guys can even use like um the chocolate milks of these which we make it like a mocha or even van the vanilla one but that really doesn't have any point it'll be like a vanilla coffee but if you guys want a mocha you can instead of putting the almond milk the normal unsweetened one you can put chocolate almond milk we fill that up basically a little bit more than halfway. I like to fill a little bit of this with some almond milk so it doesn't melt my ice. Okay. Jappity jap jap. Oh my god. I am Starbucks. Pop our lid on. Pop it in. Oh, by the way, don't ever leave your spoon in there. I've done that mistake once. I am Starbucks. Uh, okay. Oh, yum. That's what it is. And then just spoon your ice mixture in because the, the lid of this, the rim of that, isn't big enough. I just want to taste it. Mm. Yum. Fuck yum. Grab my reusable bags because hashtag save the planet let's go shopping okay so we're back home now i'm just going to show you guys what we got from the shops get get <sighs> so enjoy the montage
Why? It's <laughs> ma. Why? Okay, the next morning. God, I love this camera. Um, I don't know where I left you guys yesterday, but I just finished the filming the in the bathroom scene of a tanning routine that I'm doing with um Bond by Sands. You guys voted yesterday that that's something that you guys would want to see. So I'm just finished that now. I'm just baking for two hours. It's usually it's the express one hour tan, but I leave it on for two hours. Because your girl likes to go really, really dark. Yeah, that's about it. I'm going to go to the shops today for my mum who's overseas. She wants a few, like, stuff for winter because it's winter in Istanbul. So I'm thinking of going to Castle Hill and just picking up a few things while the weather is good and it's not raining because the car that we... I'm going to sit down. I zoom in a little bit so you guys can see my face. My fetus face. And the car that we have now, it's kind of like, it's really dangerous on the road. Not dangerous, but like the brakes. It's an all-wheel drive, so like the brakes sort of buckle on rainy weathers. So I'm thinking of asking Dad to take me to Castle Hill. If I go, you guys will see. If I don't, you guys will be with me at home. I love that how when I tan, my teeth are already white. I get them whitened by this lovely lady over here um i will leave her in the description box below like her socials and everything but i love it when i'm tanned i look like extra you know and my teeth look extra white if you guys follow me on my instagram you guys will know that abby has a habit of spilling her water and bringing me her empty water bottle you're not getting any more water princess i'm just gonna chuck her in the bath towel i swear to god don't touch me with that i'm baking mommy no Abby, where are you taking your water bottle? Come on, bring it here. Any money, I bet my life on it, the water is spilt all over my bedroom floor. Yeah, thank you, princess. Thank you. Oh, there she goes. Where are you taking it? Where are you taking it? <laughs> okay. What do you want? You've spilt it here. Yeah, that's your mess. And see, what did I say? Surprise, surprise. That's your mess, isn't it? Okay, let's not talk about the fact that I look completely ratchet. But it's about the fact that, you know, I got in the car at the shops. I'm going to give it a pop, you guys. This is, like, really annoying. Yeah, so I didn't wash the tan off yet. I'm just letting it, you know, sort of sink into me. But... So I went to the shops and you know, we got out of the car and I went into my bag to go get my camera out, which I left right here in that area over there because I was vlogging here at the very last step. But I did go to um, Cotton On. Ready? Abby, one second. Oh. Yeah, I've got to move back for this. <laughs> I did a massive, massive shop. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm just gonna dip my hand in and pick out whatever that comes out. So first item is $10 and it's the Dakota Detail Legging. I've also got this in the light blue wash as well, but because I love it so much, I just thought I would get it in the in the dark wash. You're so precious. And I got this, this like place that I went to, it's like a cotton on depot, so it's um so it's got like soup gray typo ruby shoes and all of that in one place so the second thing i got was these pants they're like really nicely sort of slick and also they're like loose on the bottom so they will look like work pants but but they're for like petite girls you know short girls from Supre, they were the in extra small and they're the straight leg pant in khaki. And then I got a cardigan that's from Supre. It's just a pink cardigan that I thought, you know, in summer at the beach, I can sort of put it on me. And the best part is it's got like a pineapple, which you guys, I don't know if you know, but I'm in love with pineapples. Like, I just love these kind of cardigans. They're so cute. Shall we put on? And then I got this thick wool knitted 
cardigan that has that sort of detailing on it down the side and then I picked up one of these bags for like shopping and stuff or when I go to the beach because I really really like them then I got me I got myself I got myself some shorts it's um, the lifestyle shorts and it was $10 24 95 and I got it for 10 and then again I got the lifestyle shorts in extra small except it's like sort of the gray toned one okay. then this one was full price but I just had to get it because you guys know how much I love my track pants these ones are like sort of the slim fit slim yeah slim fit track pants and I got them in the size small because extra small wasn't like available next item was a jumper you guys know how much I love my jumpers so it's just a blue hoodie like that with stripes I've also got the gray one with the pink stripes so not much of a boyfriend hoodie when it's in pink but still just love the way that it's like loosely fitted on you next item I love white jacket I love it so this item was The super soft zip hoodie, forty dollars originally, and I got it for five in the size small. It's just a really white sort of soft hoodie. Oh, I love it! Not a hoodie, a jacket, but it's got the hood. Next item, it was the sheer par hoodie in dusty clay. Original price was forty dollars. I picked it up for three dollars. And it was just in pink, size small, got like the cuffed sort of solid like body thing, bottom part of it, zip out, it's got the hood and again the cuffed sleeves as well, I love that. Now another basic jumper for $5. Okay, last few items, I got the relaxed fit, it goes hand in hand with the jacket and it's just got like really loose sort of legs that's the feel and it's in the size small oh I love this so this is a dress that's the dress over there it's crossed over like that okay and lastly a pant in vintage cloud space navy that was 34 99 originally except I picked it up for three so that's the print and that's the color and I absolutely love it so I'm gonna go downstairs and make dad some noodles because I didn't want to cook today it's just way too hot here for my noodles though and so I'm gonna go downstairs and put him a bowl of noodles and I'll bring you guys along with me because I'm such a nice person I'm Thai Abby this gal's hungry too, so we'll go down the bit and feed her. Let's go. Okay, so for all my gluten free girls out there, I had this for lunch, like on days like Sunday especially, when the weather's so hot, I really honestly as healthy as the person that I am. I don't feel like eating if it's not iced coffee, protein shake, um, watermelon, pineapple, rock melon, or like crackers to be honest. So anyone who's a gluten free like myself, try out the fantastic branded rice crackers they're gluten free obviously and they are amazing so let's make an iced coffee sixteen paranoia filled days later
Alright, so that's my outfit of the day, of the meeting. Oh, gonna fall. I hate walking in heels. That's my outfit of the day, the meeting. I'm not quite sure about the shoes. What do you guys reckon? The belly is coming out today. Because your girl is you for Aunt Flo. Anyway, that wasn't a good angle. I'm gonna take a few photos because I look quite schmick and then I'm going to get going. So yeah. Alright, so I changed my pants. I just couldn't, I couldn't deal. Like, I literally couldn't deal. So I'm wearing these pants. Black, long, you know, all sleek. And they go up to the top. And they've got like, got zippers on the side. So yes, we're rocking these. Let's put on our shoes, go make another iced coffee, or a protein coffee, and then get going. Okay, so I'm at the park while I'm going home. It's about 3 p.m. I think I'll just go home and film a um, the Bondi Sands second part of the tutorial that I'm gonna do for the tanning routine tutorial. So I think I'll just do that and then probably have some lunch, edit that video. I have to help a guy to the railway station. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just thinking of doing that, having a pretty chill day. Hello, my gorgeous girl. Hi. Hello, my pretty girl. Hello, 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 baby girl. Hello, my pretty girl. Hey, right. Hello, mommy. Okay, don't my face. I'm gonna do a video. Yeah, I'm gonna do a video. Say hello to the camera, baby girl. Hi, and you're my precious pretty girl. Okay, so I just changed, put on like a lippy, just to change like the color of my lips. My lips go really purple sometimes, I don't know why. So I just thought I'd, you know, vamp myself up a little bit. Put on just the jacket, and I swear to God I'm wearing some pants, I'm wearing shorts, because it's absolutely boiling. I don't know how I'm gonna film. I'm gonna pop you guys down while I get my room ready. Oh, waiver exposure. Yeah, that's better. And that's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Happy, we finished filming, baby. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Let's go make some lunch. Oh, I'm hungry. Love you, love you, love you like I do. Okay, wait, let me just adjust myself because I was laying down. No, Abby. Hey, don't you dare. I said no. I said no. Alright, so I'm going to open up the DM that I got. <laughs> Sorry. And I don't know if I'm going to post this, but it's kind of a question that she's asking me to ask you girls who watch my vlogs a little bit of advice. I get distracted because of this girl because she wants to play, but. <laughs> Alright, so obviously it's a relationship related question. I'm just going to start by saying, I'm not going to say the names obviously, so we're going to name the, the girl in the relationship who's telling this story to me, um, Kate, right? The reason why I'm naming her such ordinary names is that so you guys can't pin it down on anyone because I know it. most people from my area sort of watch my videos, so, and we're going to name the guy Peter, right? Her her fiance, Peter, sorry, her husband, Peter. Kate was working a nine to five job and 
five days a week, nine to five, and he was working a job that usually started at like 1 p.m. and ended in the night time or would start at two, three. I don't know what job he was doing, but she didn't tell me. So I'm guessing it's something got to do with a factory, sort of night shift or even construction, plumbing, whatever. So he started in the afternoons and finished late in the, in the night time. So by the time she comes home, he's already out the door. And by the time he comes back home, she's already in bed. So they didn't have much of a relationship, if you will. They had more of a sort of companion within the house. They loved each other like no other. But they had sort of a companion in the house. And um, no arguments. Everything was running smoothly. They just didn't have time with each other. And on weekends, they usually do family stuff because they have massive, they both have massive families. So each weekend each day let's say saturday they were at such and such's house and then sunday they were at the other opposing families members house or whatever it was happening like a barbecue or whatever so personally together they did not have any family time whatsoever or just very merely like on the weekends when they got home if they got home early she goes on to explain that she was one day in the car with her husband and there was sort of like chit-chatting about what was going on with their relationship you know six seven months into their marriage and all of this stuff was happening like they were seeing each other more than what they would have now like more than they oh, how can i put this into words they were seeing each other more than what they are now before when they were like just dating or just engaged or whatever and she goes on to say that one day, one weekend, they decided that no, they're not going to go to any family member's house. And they told them, pre-told everybody, look, this weekend, we're out. We're, we're going to talk. Like, something serious has come up. And it wasn't a lie. They did talk. So they sat down together and she started telling him he had no clue. Peter had no clue that he was, there was going to be this talk. But she organized it for it to be on a Saturday and a Sunday. So they can just, you know, sort their stuff out together and whatever. And um, she goes on to explain, look, like, babe, you know, it's not going good. We're not seeing each other. You know, we're literally just falling apart within the same house. Like, what happened to us? Like, everything was going so great. You know, we were seeing each other a lot more when we were dating, blah, blah, blah. And he was just sitting there really sympathetically. And he's like, yeah, nodding his head, blah, blah, blah. And he's agreeing to everything she was saying. And the Peter that was once upon a time, you know when they were dating he wouldn't have given that reaction he'll be like no what are you saying you know we're gonna get over this it's just till we save a bit more money just till we save the house deposit whatever you know whatever couples say but this time he was just agreeing like he was just like yeah i know blah 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 like it's hopefully it'll get better and whatnot so she found this very suspicious and let me tell you when a girl gets a gut instinct a girl gets a gut instinct and if she doesn't diminish that gut instinct it's going to be always in the back of her head. It's going to eat her alive. She's going to think about it when she's on the toilet, having a shower, cooking dinner, like washing clothing, washing dishes. She's going to think about it non-stop. So she sort of bends down over the over the lounge that they were sitting and snatches his phone. Obviously, they have each other's passwords and she goes straight into Instagram and into the direct messages. And as soon as she saw the word baby, she gets up. By this time, like, obviously, he was trying to get the phone off her, you know, sort of, like, caught onto the idea. And so she got up snatched his keys, his car keys. I swear, I just thought I saw a cockroach, but anyway. Snatches his car keys and runs to the car, locks herself in the car so he can't get in. And she starts, like, literally shaking at the wheel, holding her phone and reading the messages that were going on. And this was with a girl that he was working with. And he was at the window, he's like, look, open the door, blah, 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 I can explain, you know, it's not what you think, all of that, you know, movie stuff that you know baby it's not what you think and blah, blah blah whatever so she starts crying and stops reading and then she decides to turn on the car and she decides to go for a drive like the phone by this point is like on the passenger seat goes for a drive cries her eyes out blah 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 shakes you know she's having an anxiety attack she's having a panic attack at the wheel and she can't really go anywhere because she didn't grab her license with her so she's just like roaming the streets anyway so she parks alongside of the street and decides that she needs to read these messages you know to see how long it's been going to see what they've been talking about to see if they've ever been together slept together you know gone out together if, if this is just an ongoing thing or if it was just like you know um 
just a fling. Funny enough, this girl is someone that he works with and this girl is someone that she has specifically accepted her, his, her request to him on Instagram. Apparently one day she was laying down and she was scrolling and he had like unaccepted or undeclined uh, requests on Instagram and she went ahead and accepted this girl because she knew her personally and that because you know her and Peter work in the same place. Keeps reading them, keeps reading them. They haven't been to, you know, each other's place or they haven't slept together, they haven't been together. All they're doing is just flirting online and probably flirting in the workplace. Um, and that night, actually, he was going to go over to this girl's house. I'm going to name her Mia. So he was going to go over Mia's house and that would have been the first time that he was going to go there. Anyway, so she has her cry, has her rant in the car, you know, screams, shouts, whatever, and drives back home. Gives the phone over to him and she sits in front of him and is like, all right, look, we either fix this or it's over. Done. Finished. He accepts. Obviously, he doesn't want to lose her. Doesn't want a broken marriage. And he didn't think that that was cheating because he apparently said this to her. He didn't think it was cheating because he didn't sleep with her. He didn't touch her. All they were doing is just conversating verbally, smiling each other at work, you know, flirting and talking over the internet. And they didn't get to talk much at work too because like I said, he has really odd shifts at work. And she must have been something like an admin or I don't know, whatever. She didn't tell me, but I'm just guessing, you know, painting the picture for you. He goes on to say, look, all right, let's fix it up. You know, I'm gonna change my job. I'm gonna change my number. I'm gonna break my phone if you want me to. Let's go, let's move uh, states, let's do this, let's move areas, let's move houses. You know, I'm just gonna change everything, shut social media. But that's it, I'm done, I'm sorry, I've made a mistake, not gonna happen again. It was devastated. Anyway, so she spends the night at her mom's house, not saying anything to anyone. So sorry, the weekend at her mom's house. And then upcoming come Monday, she calls work and says, look, I need a break, you know, I'm going through blah, blah, blah. So they give her two, three days of a break and he goes into work that day with his wife and literally calls the quits. And she approaches this girl, the Mia girl, and says, look, I know what you guys have been talking about. You know, I've been married with him. This is not a hate situation on you. Like she deals with it very maturely. Um, I would have gone off my nuts if that was me. I would have, oh my God, I would have, <laughs> I don't even know what I would do. I would have, <laughs> I would have broken everything on his head, let alone leave him. Oh my God. And then coming to the girl, I would have lost my mother shit at her oh my god i would have gone nuts like that was me wow she's handled it very smoothly she handled it very smoothly and when i took a girl look she goes i know but i don't know what went into you she goes you knew that we were married i've come here how many times you've seen me exit this place with my fiance now my husband um and what what's the go what compelled you to do this and she me i was just left un like she was just gobsmacked like she didn't know what to say come the time where he actually formally quit work and <clears throat> she was there when he quit work and he had like a little um, letter sort of thing in his pocket and she goes oh like what's that and he goes I don't know like this and um, apparently his co-workers had given him a letter from Mia um, to say sorry and also she's put her number down there like so he can contact her later on or whatever when he gets a new number or whatever so she reads it, she goes, do you want to keep it or not to Peter? And he goes, I really don't care. He goes, it's ruined everything. He goes, it was a big mistake, I'm not going to do it again. Like this was literally a lesson learned. Like this guy was devastated. Like he was actually humiliated, devastated and disgusted in himself. He has never felt sorry more than this. <laughs> but <clears throat> her question is, yeah, they've, they've moved like areas, so he's not working there, he's found a new job, everything's going good, but still she cannot have that 100% trust and never will. She's told me that they're going to try for a baby, but she's only holding back because of the thought that, like, there is trust, but not like what she had before. She had 100% trust in him before. You know, they've never had that sort of that cold ice in between them and now that it's there she doesn't know how to get rid of it she doesn't know how to get rid of her thoughts she's constantly thinking like oh my god is this thing to someone else should i go to his workplace blah 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 should i go stalk him should i look at his phone does he have instagram is he hiding something from me um if he comes home late she's like oh where is he i wonder if he's talking to someone like all these questions pop up into her head her question to me and her question to you guys through me 
is that she because she knows that I'm literally women dominated on my Instagram and my uh, YouTube channel she wants to know what you girls would have done in that state like I said I am not answering this question because I quite think I would be a very violent little five foot girl I would go ape shit like I would not take that shit for anything I would leave him on the spot no first off I would castrate him and then leave him on the spot this isn't about me this is about her so I'm gonna ask you girls what would you guys do what should she do she's very confused and very lost but also wants her family and wants to start a family with this man because she can't see herself with anyone else like it's a really bad situation too but I don't know I, I would have actually lost my shit like they would have had to put me in a mental hospital after that like I don't know what I would have done but yeah I just thought I'd put it in here. I don't know if I'm going to upload this. I haven't told her that I've uploaded, but obviously asked her permission to upload her story and I'm not using any names or anything. So just a little disclaimer. How would we help her? What would we do? What should she do? She's asking advice from the ladies that watch my YouTube. So either comment below or message me on Instagram. I'll leave my little like slogan over here and also in the description bar below. I guess that's okay. it. Abby, come on! Focus on my face. There we go, it's tracking. Come on. I know you can do it. Focus. Salted caramel lean protein by Tropica. Ultra cleanse powder by Tropica. This one's good for a detox. Acai berry powder from Truth Pico. It's a little bit more of maca powder that I need to use up. Some organic blue agave syrup. I, we got this from Costco. It comes in a pack of two like this. I already finished one. This is my second one. So We usually buy bananas that are like sort of spotty. Why isn't this first to And then usually they go spotty throughout the week if we leave it outside. And when they do, I just pick them up and like pop them into a Ziploc bag. And I can use it for my smoothies and they're ripe. So that's half a banana and the other half of the banana. Oh shit. You want to fill it with almond milk or water if you guys don't want to use almond milk. Yeah, good. Less if you want a more thick shape, like a smoothie bowl. More if you want it more liquidy. So just like that. I add extra salted caramel protein because I love the taste of it. Three heat scoops. Whatever's left in there. Half a scoop of acai berry powder. Quarter. Just a little touch of this because it's very strong in taste. I got used to the taste of it. I love the taste of it now. But for beginners, just like the tiniest bit of it sweet enough or if that's sweet enough for you guys yeah that's fine there's also date syrup that you guys can use or actual pitted dates medjool dates what i do is just swell that in pop the lid on ready <laughs> bob's your uncle this is my professional YouTuber outro. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe to my channel because it helps me out a lot and I'll see you guys in three days. Bye!